Hello, guys. How are you today? Hello. Hello. <laughs> how are you today? Miguel, how are you? I find teacher. Excellent. Very well. Very well. How was your weekend? Uh, Saturday in birthday. Happy birthday. Your birthday? No. Your no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Está haciendo chiste ahorita porque qué estoy hablando lindo, en inglés. Qué lindo. Ah, pero bien repite. Excelente. Sí. Está repitiendo, cabrón. Ok. Hello. Hello, decir. Hello. Hello, decirle hello. Hello. How are you? I'm ¿Cómo fine. está? Hi. Ay, excelente. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Isn't it? And nice to meet you too. Oh, so cute. Bye. Bye, listen. Bye. Bye, take care. <laughs> Hi, Vanessa. How are you? <laughs> Alba, Jancy, Dinora, Anna. Hello, how are you, Alba? Very well, and you? Hello. Excellent. Hello. Nice to see you again. Hola, Julio. Te lo he puesto. In the living room. Okay, excellent, guys. Nice to see you, okay? How was your weekend, guys? Vanessa, how was your weekend? Actually, this weekend I have to work. Oh, it's really. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. No vacation, right? No. Excellent. Okay, Dinora, how are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Okay, guys, today is Monday and let's learn a lot, right? Okay, guys. Do you like mimics? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay, let's start, okay? I'm gonna start, okay? Directions, okay? You have to make a mimic, okay? For example, let's, let's use um, some adjectives and verbs. Vamos a usar adjetivos y verbos, okay? For example, Drink. Drink, right? Let's start, okay? Um, let's see. Ay, pero necesito sus cámaras. Bueno, los que podamos, okay? Okay, Vanessa, your turn. Aha, uh -huh, guys. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a cough. Cough, right? Yes, it is. Yes, excellent. Alba, your turn. <laughs> uh huh. She's writing up. Mm hmm. The verb is. Right. Right, right. And she's writing. Okay. It's ex excellent. Vanessa. Okay. Miguel, your turn. Uh 
Mm, bon appétit, Alba. <laughs> I want. To. Thank you. Pero voy llegando apenas. <laughs> ah, no se preocupe, yo los entiendo. Solo que nos va a dar hambre, eso sí, ¿verdad? Vaya. <laughs> ¿Por dónde es que vive? Digo? <laughs> Delivery. <laughs> Ok, guys. Miguel. Uh -huh. No. Again, Miguel, please. Come. Come. Yes. Excellent. Aha, let's see. Ana. Ana Gloria. Un poquito más abajo en la cámara. ¿Logran ver? Ahora sí. Ajá. Guys, estamos jugando mímicas, ¿ok? Let's mimic. Eat. Eat, excellent. Uh -huh. Someone else? ¿Alguien más que quiera encender la cámara? No. No. Ok, I have some for you. Right. Right. Yes, right, right? Let's... Right. Mm -hmm. Sonia, huh? Your turn. Right. Excellent. Ahora una mimica usted. Um, oh. <laughs> wow. Exercise. Exercise. Exercise, right? Excellent. Wow. Uh -huh. Let's see. Come on. Amy, uh -huh. your turn. Eso hace ella, por si no logra. Brush. Ajá. Brush. Brush. Excellent. Uh, I have another one. Singer. Singer. Yes, singer. Singer, the person, sing. right? And person. the sing. verb, sing. Excellent. Sing. Sing. Alguien más, alguien más, por ahí, por ahí, por ahí. What about this? Real. Real, yes, excellent. Mm. What about this? Uh, shot? Chat, yes, right? It's a bear. Let's see. What about this? I can right? <laughs> I try. Yes, right, dance. dance. And what about the, the 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 person? The name of the person that dance. Okay. Dancer. Uh, yes. Excellent. Okay, guys, <laughs> remember that we are standing about simple, simple present, and we were talking about what? WH question in simple present, present right? Present. Remember what? 
<coughs> sorry. Where, what, where, when, uh -huh. why, when, who, why, who, why, who. Excellent, okay. And I have the definition for you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's start. Which, which, Traté de ponerle algunas cosas en español. Which, esta WH question se usa para referirnos a objetos determinados entre los que se debe escoger. Cuando tenemos más de una opción. For example, which is the cheapest one? ¿Cuál es el más barato? ¿Entre qué podemos elegir? En una tienda de ropa, for example, buying a, a dress, yes? Supermarket. In a supermarket, right? When you compare uh, the prices. ¿Quién hace eso? ¿Quién compara los precios en el super? ¿O solo lo? All, all persons. Uh -huh. Everybody. Not, not everybody, because I, I know some people that... They don't just care pay. about, man, they have money, maybe, right? But for example, <laughs> which is the cheapest one? Cuando tengo que elegir entre, no necesariamente entre dos, pueden ser más de dos cosas. Imagínense que están en un lugar y hay varias mujeres hablando. Viene alguien y le dice, which is your sister? ¿Cuál es tu hermana? Refiriéndose a que hay varias mujeres. ¿Sí estamos? Yes. Ok. Yes. Hablando del vestido. Which dress are you going to dress? Tiene un montón de vestidos. Es que escoger uno, ¿verdad? Which dress are you going to dress? ¿Un, un ejemplo? Which? Ajá. Uh -huh. Which movie mm. want to see? Which movie you want? You want to or do you want to see? I think it's. ¿Cómo fue? Se cortó, se cortó otra vez. Do you want? I think. Mm -hmm. Recuerda que tenemos que tener un auxiliar. Which movie do you want to see? Mm -hmm. Vamos a pensar. No, pero en este caso, acordémonos que de ver tele, ¿cuál es el verbo se usa? To watch. watch. Uh -huh. To watch. Excellent. Uh -huh. To watch. For example, which restaurant esta es una pregunta para las mujeres que nunca sabemos dónde ir ok <laughs> which restaurant <laughs> do you want to go <laughs> si ¿Sí entendemos hasta ahí sí yes ok Which yes. restaurant do you want to go? Which movie do you want to watch? Okay. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? 
Moons. No? No. Ok. No. What? Es una What? de las conocidas como WH Question y traducida al castellano correspondería al interrogativo ¿Qué? Estamos hablando de la pregunta ¿Qué? Aunque a veces también puede funcionar como ¿Cuál o cuáles? What did you do yesterday night? Do you remember? Okay. Do you, do you remember what did you do yesterday night? Night. Sleep. <laughs> sleep. I sleep. I sleep. Uh -huh. We are talking about past, right? I went to the supermarket. Excellent. And you and you used which? Which is the cheapest, right? Which <laughs> is yes. Ahora nada está barato, ¿ok? No, no, sí. Paréntesis. Pero no sigamos porque vamos a llorar. What are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? Ajá. ¿Alguien que me quiera responder en qué está pensando? What are you thinking about? I'm working. <laughs> you have a, a assignment to do in your, in your work. Tiene tareas pendientes en el trabajo, sí. Nuevas implementaciones de sistema, por eso me tienen como loco. <laughs> I'm thinking about Alba's food. What? <laughs> I'm thinking about Alba's food. Yes, yes, I remember. It was very delicious. Mm. Don't don't be like that. <laughs> like in Spanish, right? Okay. ¿Quién me quiere decir? What are you thinking about? I'm thinking about. Perdón, pero en ese caso es como ¿qué, qué estás pensando o como ah, qué estás al respecto. ¿Qué estás pensando? Ajá. What are you thinking about? Ah. Porque si, ah, si, si decimos eso de qué estás pensando al respecto, es what do you think about economy? Ya le agregamos, ¿verdad? Ahí es, o sea, what do you think? Sorry, what do you think? Quitamos este, porque ese sería una en general, ¿verdad? What do you think about economy? What do you think about economy in El Salvador, right? What do you think about um, hamburgers in schools, for example? Okay. In that, but in this case, is what are you thinking about? ¿Qué está pensando en este momento? Yes. I am thinking about the. The the English platform. your English in platform. Yes, yes. in the platform. Have because you completed? The internet, uh -huh. every, every day. Because the, the internet every uh, all day was awful. Yes, right. I know, I know. But try to do it, okay? But, Okay, and one of the common is what is your name? Uh huh. What is your name? ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Vamos a ver alguna otra pregunta. What, for example, what? Uh -huh. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, guys? What is your favorite? Uh -huh. What is? Alguien dijo una. What is? What time is it? What time is set, right? What time is set, guys? 
What is your favorite color? It's eight. It's your favorite color. It's eight. It's your favorite color. Excellent. What is your favorite color? Excellent. What is your favorite color? Excellent. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is green, pink, right? Blue. What about you? What is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Excellent. <laughs> Este creo que es de las más fáciles, ¿verdad? El what. What about who? Who? A la hora de preguntar acerca de personas, deberemos, debemos, perdón. Debemos utilizar la partícula interrogativa inglesa. Who? ¿Qué sería? Equivalente a quién. quién. Who is that beautiful woman? Me. Excellent. <laughs> Who is that intelligent, intelligent woman, right? Also me, right? Uh, ahí tenía que responder. Who did you see in Barcelona? Who did you see in Barcelona? Let's write another example. Who? Who? Or ice cream. Come Who wants? Who wants ice cream, right? Who are you? Creen que está correcto, no? Uh, eh, who, who are you do? ¿Eh? No sé si, si, si corresponde. Pero en este caso que no sería who wants, sí, uh -huh. who wants, who wants, sin ese. Y hay stream separado. Who wants. Ajá, ¿qué piensa? Y esto sí. Who wants ice cream. Who wants. ¿Cómo así? Entra en la duda. Who wants? Who wants ice cream? Who wants ice cream? Homework for tomorrow. Bueno, otra vez. Aquel que pueda. Ese who's no tendría que ser con S. De who's one. Para hacerlo plural. Ya vamos a ver, yo le voy a poner. Por ahí dicen, who's, así, who, who's con apóstrofe, ¿sí? Ajá, ajá. Ajá. ¿Alguien? Un helado. Ah. Ah, uh, ice cream. Okay, homework for tomorrow. Vamos a anotar. Cuando pueda, si puede, buscarlo, si puede investigar, ¿ok? Si no puede, mañana lo discutimos aquí. No se preocupe, ¿ok?
Continuará, to be continued, okay? When? When? We use when for? About time. Aware. Yeah. When? When is time? Cuando, right? When did you arrive? When did you arrive? Uh huh. When did you arrive? When I go, where, when are you going? Just you. I arrived yesterday. When are you going to study? When? When are you going to study? I'm going to study. Going. No? To study today. Today. I'm going to study tomorrow. I am going today. Yes, I am going to study today or late, right? Later. I'm going to study later. But Where? it's possible, but it's possible uh, say, I'm going to study tomorrow? Yes. Or not? But, okay. We? El going to es futuro cercano. Si lo podemos utilizar. Ajá. En cambio, el will que es futuro siempre, se usa para incierto. Algo que, o sea, que es como un pronóstico, ¿ok? For example, algo que pueda hacer, quiero ver, it will be rain tomorrow. Uh -huh. It will be rain tomorrow. Mañana lloverá. Bueno, no lo sé. Y algo que sí vaya a pasar mañana. I am going to go to the work. Eso sí tiene que pasar, ¿verdad? Entonces el going to es futuro. ¿sí? Entonces sí lo podemos utilizar. Quizás ahí nos confundimos un poco con el, el verbo to be y el ing, el presente progresivo, ¿verdad que sí? Pero sí, son diferentes porque... Ajá, present continuous, sí. Inclusive se puede utilizar en esta semana. Si sí, yo voy a hablar incluso del domingo, pero porque es algo que está pasando y que va a pasar en este periodo de tiempo, se puede utilizar. Porque estoy segura de la actividad. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, I am studying English on... Saturday, Saturday, sí va a pasar, es algo progresivo, ¿verdad? Que sí, a eso se refiere, pero el going to sí es algo futuro, pero algo certero, ¿ok? Entonces sí lo podemos utilizar. Ok. Ok, where did you, nos quedamos en, where are you, where are you? Where are you? I am at home. Where did you buy this jacket? Or where did you buy this dress? Where did you buy your cell phone? Todas esas. ¿Qué pasa con why? ¿Qué significa why? ¿Por qué? Okay. ¿Por qué? Excelente, ok. <ríe> Para aquellos tardistas, ok. Los que hemos llegado tarde. Algunas cuantas veces. Why are you coming late? Uh 
Uh -huh. Why are you coming late? Because of the traffic, because of the bus, because of the babies. Yes. Why did you get angry? ¿Por qué te enfadaste? Uh -huh. What about how? Significa how? Como. Como, right? How are you? This is the most common, right? How are you? Yes. How are you guys? How much is it? Mm -hmm. Baby. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. How did you find this offer? Se me pasó. Pero también tenemos con how. How old are you? Cuando estamos refiriéndonos a qué? A la edad. A la edad. How old are you? I am 32 years old. How long? Cuando estamos hablando de qué? Hace cuánto de tiempo. Estamos hablando de un tiempo indeterminado, ¿verdad? O determinado. Indeterminado. Indeterminado. How long did you take you to arrive here? What about how much? También lo utilizamos en how much. En how many también. Aquí fue how, how many. How much? ¿Cuándo utilizamos how much? Cuando queremos preguntar cuánto cuesta algo. Ok. Mash. Mash. Ajá. Mash is uncountable. Es cuando nos referimos a algo que no se puede contar. Por ejemplo, ¿qué no se puede contar? The sun. The sun, right? The water. Water, sugar. Oh. Podemos tener medidas, pero no cantidad. No va a decir, ok, quiero dos granitos de azúcar. No, right. How much sugar do you want? How much salt? La sal tampoco, ¿verdad? O how much rice. Yes? Yes. And what about how many? How many is for countable? Countable. How many? How many apples? How many apples? Mm -hmm. How many apples? How many bananas? How do you how how many apples do you want or what? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. How many apples do you have? ¿Qué cosas se pueden contar? Choose. ¿No se escucha, chicos? ¿Bien? ¿No me escuchan bien? O choice. ¿Cómo se dice? Choice. Zapatos. Shoes. 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 ¿Me Shoes. escuchan bien? Sí. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Okay, so how much is for uncountable? How many is for countable? Okay, for example, we can count books, uh, we can count animals. What else? No. People, right? We can count people. We can say one person, people. a furniture. person or people, furniture, yes. Huh? Guys, do you have any question about WH question? No. No? Alguien tiene alguna duda? No. Okay. Today, let's start.
Okay, with the part of a house. First part is rich. It's, it's like a cuesta, cumbrera. Nosotros en el país, bueno, por lo menos mi casa no lo tiene, right? But some, some expensive houses. Okay, maybe, right? Aparte de acá, ven esto? La, cum la cumbrera, right? Right, no. No es el techo, sino que es cabal la, la partecita uh -huh. esta de la casa. Es esto. Es como las casitas uh -huh. que nosotros comúnmente dibujamos, ¿verdad? And the roof. Ese sí es el techo. The roof. roof. Dish. The chimney pot. Yeah. Es el pote. Nosotros no tenemos chimenea, right? But Yeah. <laughs> o alguien tiene ¿Mm? yo sé enchalate ¿Mm? enchalate en algo really necesito salir de mi casa <laughs> <laughs> ya no voy a decir que no tienen aquí las casas porque la mía no los tiene ¿va? Que, la, que la inviten teacher hey, en serio Sí. <laughs> muy bien well, para que I conozcan think, I think it en, en Chalatenango, eh, en Río Chiquito. I'm not sure if in Highlands Hotel, uh -huh. maybe they have chim chimney. Chimney oh. pot? Really? Yes, chimney because, pot? It's, mm -hmm. because it's very cold. Yes, right. Sí. Viste. And the chimney? A chimenea, right? What about the satellite, the satellite dish? El platito, okay? El plato satelital. La antena. Uh -huh. Ajá, la antena. Pero ahora ya no mucho se usan eso, ¿verdad? Ya no más, ajá. What about wall? La pared. La pared. Uh -huh. Window. Son las únicas dos que me podía. <laughs> the window, la ventana, right? Window, a wall. Ah, ya son dos, ya bastante. Por lo menos ya algo. <laughs> dos de diez. Ok, excelente. Ok, hanging basket. La, la, la cesta colgante, right? Si no lo tiene, pues ok, vea. The balcony door. Who has balcony door? La terraza. Uh -huh. Terraza. Balcony door. The balcony? Okay. What about garage? The garage door. In the garage, donde guardamos los vehículos. The drive, the driveway, que es el, el, el caminito, ¿verdad? Que muchas casas ahora no tienen garage, sino que tienen... What el... is basement? Basement is... Sótano, pero no se ve ahí, ¿verdad? Oh, no, no, Está no, dentro, no. subterráneo, ¿verdad? ¿eh? Basement, sótano, guys. El driveway es bien común, ¿verdad? Que, que incluso ahí dejan parqueados los vehículos cuando tienen más de uno o dos y tienen así como la, el caminito del, del carro. Stairs. Esas stairs. Estas stairs. Las gradas. Escaleras o gradas. Stairs. The fence, la valla. O como le decimos nosotros. Estas. Las cercas. 
cercas, right? Fence, cercas, verjas. Bricks. Uh -huh. Bricks, ladrillos. Bricks. Letterbox o mailbox, el, el buzón, right? Buzón. Uh -huh. And I have a question for you. What mean? rooms are in your house? Three, two, five. No, listen. What rooms? Okay, let's see this. Quiero ver, creo que tengo otra que otra. And in my house are bedrooms, living room, dining room. Okay. Tengo otra Kitchen. imagen. Oh, yes. Yo tenía otra imagen. What rooms are in a farm in your country? Yes, I got. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Athic. 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 Yes. Atico. Atic. Who has attic here? Pedro. Aticos. Uh -huh. Ya no vuelvo a decir que aquí en El Salvador no hay. Ok. <risa> ya aprendí, ya aprendí. Ok. okay. <risa> Number two, bedroom. How many bedrooms do you have in your house? Three. Three. Three? Three? Yes. Three. Two or three, right? It's the most two. common. Two. Uh -huh. the most common. What about? A bathroom. One. 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 Two bathrooms. Two. Two or one. Two. Yeah. Uh -huh. What about four? Nursery room. Um, no. This is like the rooms for the baby. Yes. A room for the baby or the nursing room is enfermería, too. Okay. Okay. The both. Okay. okay. Number five, home office. Ajá. Uh -huh. Por decir así, nosotros decimos una oficina en la casa, okay? The home office? No. No. All right. No. No. Number no. six, living room. How many living room do you have? One. 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 Okay. One. Dining room? One. Yeah, one, right? Yes. One, two. Okay, number eight, kitchen. Laundry. What about the laundry room? The laundry room. Mm -hmm. The lavanderia? No? No. Yes. No. Yes. Donde está el lavadero? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no es ese, pero de momo es ese. <risa> o sea, o sea que así como tu espacio donde está el lavadero, la washing machine. Uh -huh. Pero nosotros, digamos, comúnmente, veríamos en, en ciertas casas, este, digamos, está parte la lavadora y tienen quizás el, el planchador y en el caso que tengan secadora, y está aparte. Y luego está el lavadero, que es donde uno 
en algunos lugares, en otros está todo junto, pero no es un cuartito, sino que uno lo tiene como un área abierta, ¿verdad que sí? Sí. Entonces, sí, sí. podemos decir que sí, aunque no sea así. Ok, basement. El ático en Estados Unidos. Aquí también me imagino, ¿verdad? Que hay muchas casas Patio. que el ático, el ático lo utilizan como, incluso tienen hasta una mini casita ahí, ¿verdad? No sé si han visto esos programas de, de la televisión eh, que tienen hasta mesas de billar, televisión y todo. O sea, es como una mini casa. Nosotros sí, tenemos, nosotros sí tenemos un sótano, tenemos un montón de cajas, ¿verdad? Todo aquello que ya no sirve, los, bot, los botes que nunca se tiran. Ok, number 11, garage. Yes. Ok, now let's see. Ahora sí podemos contestar estas. What rooms are in your house, guys? Living room, yes. Kitchen, dining room, room. dining room, bedroom, 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 bathroom, garage, bathroom. garage. Uh -huh. What about yard? Patio, ¿verdad que sí? Todos tenemos, que es uno pequeño, pero hay siempre. Yard. Yard. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What rooms are in houses in your country? What rooms are in houses in your country? The most common bedroom, kitchen, living room, dining room. Uh -huh. La laundry room, laundry room, yes, garage. Okay, guys, who lives in apartment? In an apartment, quien vive en apartamento? Me, okay, excellent. What rooms are in an apartment in your country? Five. Yeah, que es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Que una casa tiene. Yes. Las casas yeah. son tan chiquitas que parecen apartamentos ahora, teacher. Yes. En, en una cabe la cama y en el otro el closet. Y la mitad del closet, ¿verdad? <risa> Es en serio, es en serio. Aquí hay una colonia, aquí en Santa Ana, que las casas, o sea, si cabe una cama de un metro de, de las más chiquitas. Ciudad real. No, 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 no. No voy a hacer que alguien conozca a alguien que viva ahí. No, no, no hay. No hay, hay grandes. No, donde yo le digo. Sí, pero son mega mujer, pequeñas. Solo cabe Aquí, una cama chiquita. Cama. Y, 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 y tal vez le cabía la caja porque para el closet nada, va las cajas en fila no, y sacando no la ropa. Uh -huh. <risa> es bien difícil, la verdad que las personas que viven en el campo son tan afortunadas. Ah, sí. Todos sus casotas, la, tanto animalito. Ay, qué bonito. <risa> la naturaleza. Yes. Ok, guys. Saquemos un cuaderno. I have a dictation for you. Are you ready? Ahí me avisa. Yes. 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 Okay. Vamos a esperar a todos, quizá un minuto, medio minuto.
Okay. Number one, no, at first you have to listen. In the second time you have to write. In the third one, you have to check the sentence, okay? Okay, one, two, three. Peter has two children. Okay. Ahora escribamos. Peter has two children. Peter has two children. Number two. Natalie goes to the gym every day. Natalie goes to the gym every day. Nat Natalie goes to the gym every day. Excellent. Let's see number three. My mother, my mother buys tortillas three times a day. My mother buys tortillas three times a day. My mother buys tortillas three times a day. Okay, number four. I don't like animals. I don't like animals. I don't like animals. Okay, number five. My friend go to the party every weekend my friends go to the party every weekend my friends go to the party every weekend Number six, I need to fix my computer. 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 Number seven. Do you have to drink eight glasses of water? Do you have to drink a glass of water? Do you have to drink eight glasses of water? Susan and Tim go to the movie every Sunday. Susan and Tim go to the movie every Sunday. 
Let's see, number nine. My dress is dirty. My dress is dirty. My dress is dirty. My dress is dirty. Number 10, my son plays tennis. My son plays tennis. My son plays tennis. My son plays tennis. Ok, la vamos a escribir aquí y ustedes la van corrigiendo y me dicen cuántos mistakes tienen, ok? Let's see. Number one. Dictenmela. Peter has two children. Peter has two children. Number two. Natalie. Natalie, Natalie goes, goes to the gym every, to the gym every day. Every day. Uh, every day. Uh, I my no, mother, my mother, my mother buys buy tortillas three times a day. A day. Buys tortillas or tortillas a day. Three times a day. Three times a day. Number four. I don't, I don't like any mold. Any. I don't like any animal. Animal. I don't animals. like animals. Animals, yes. I don't like animals. Number five. Uh huh. My friend. My, my friend goes to the, the party every weekend. weekend. Every weekend. My friends. Mm -hmm. My friends. Number six. I need I need to, to fix my computer. I need, I need to, to fix computer. my computer. Vayan contando los mistakes, okay? You have to drink, to drink eight drink glasses of water. To drink eight glasses of water. Of water. Of water, right? Number eight. Susan in the team, a movie every Sunday. Go to the movie every Sunday. Team go to the movie every Sunday. Number nine. My dress, My dress is dirty. Is dirty. Is dirty. Is that um, right? My sons play tennis. My son plays tennis. Uh -huh. Contémoslos. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Three mistakes. Three mistakes. Three mistakes. Excellent. One. Three. One, two. Oh. Two. Three. Excellent. Okay. Mommy. Peter has two children. Natalie goes to the gym every day. My mother buys tortillas three times a day. I don't like animals. 
My friends go to the party every weekend. I need to fix my computer. Do you have to drink a glass of water? Susan and Tim go to the movie every Sunday. My dress is dirty. My son plays tennis. Excellent, guys. Ok. ¿Terminamos de eso? ¿Esa actividad? Yes. Yes. Ok. Ok. When do we use simple present, guys? Guys, when do we use simple present? When do we use simple present? When we talk about the activities in present. When we talk about activities in present, right? About the routine. About daily routine. Mm -hmm. Hobbies? Uh, habits, uh -huh. habits, habits and hobbies, right? Habits and hobbies, yes. Mm -hmm. And the verb is in present. In present, yes. What about what happens in the third person? A change. Uh -huh. We have to add S or yes. Yes. ES. Do you remember yes. the rules? In the cases we add ES to the verbs? For so example, mm -hmm. when it, it, the, the word is ends in consonant Y. Okay. In, consonant, you, in consonant Y. Uh huh. You. You post yes. Example, please. Place, buys. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. And do you remember the rules that when we have, for example, CH, do you remember that? Es, es, ajá. X, 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 C, 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 ajá. Do you remember no. that? No, no, no. Uh -huh. Le voy a enviar esa, esa, esa parte de la clase. Ok. And you have to learn those rules, ok. And which auxiliaries we use uh, when we create a yes no question in present? Do and does. 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 Do is for I, you, you we, we, they. they. And does is for the third. Person singular. He, she, she it. it. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And tell me the answers of a yes no question. Do you remember the three answers? The three answer and answer. In remember, yes or no. Uh. Yes or no? Yes, I yes, do. I do. Uh -huh. no, I no, I don't. I don't. And the sentence. Okay. ¿Se acuerdan de esa? For example, do you like uh, to play the guitar? No. No. Yes. No, I don't. No, I don't. Yes, yes I, I, do. I do. No, I don't. And no, I don't, no, I don't no. like to play the guitar. Or Yes, 
I like to play the guitar. Remember? Oh, yes. Las tres formas en las cuales oh. podemos responder una yes no question. Simple y sencillamente, oh. yes or no, o yes I do, or no I don't. ¿Se acuerdan de eso? Yes. Yes, right? And tell me the structure of the simple present. La estructura del simple present. Eh, o subject. Subject. Verb in present. Verb in present. Last complement, guys. Excellent, ok. Entonces, ese es un, un review de lo que hemos visto en esta semana, ok. Y ya veo que han puesto mucha atención. Te golpeaste, ¿verdad? Ok, guys. <coughs> See you tomorrow. God bless you. Take care. Thank you. Okay, do you have any questions so far? No question. No question, okay? No yet. Okay, no yet, okay? Thank you, guys. Thank you, Miss. Good night. Thank you, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care, bye. Bye. Bye, take care. Bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, take care.